This is an interesting question. Basically, it uses the only thing that it really uses is Archimedes principle and the fact that if an object is at rest in equilibrium, the net forces must be zero, right? Net forces on it. Now, every object has two forces acting. One is its weight and one is a buoyant force. Now, these three objects have the same density. So, if they have the same density, they must have the same weight, right? And of course, they have a buoyant force F1 or F2 or F3. But they are at rest. The three objects are at rest in equilibrium, which means the net force must be zero. So, what must be F1? F1 must be equal to weight of this object. What must be F2? Again, the weight of the object. And what must be F3? Weight of the object. So, clearly, F1 must be equal to F2 must be equal to F3 because it must be equal to the weight of the object. Now, we might argue, but isn't buoyant force the weight of the liquid displaced? And here, the liquid seems to be less. There, it is more. But remember, they are different liquids. Because they are different liquids, though the volume of this liquid is more than the volume of that liquid, the weight of this liquid and weight of that liquid you can't compare because liquid B and liquid A are not the same. So, their volumes are different, but the weights of the liquids must be equal from a different idea. And the idea is that when an object is floating in equilibrium, it could also be bobbing up and down. I'm not talking about that. It is floating in equilibrium. So, when it is in equilibrium, net force must be zero. And therefore, this force must be equal to the buoyant force, right? So, all of these are at rest. So, that means for all of them, their weights must be equal to the buoyant force. So, this guy's buoyant force is equal to the weight. But this, this and this are identical sizes. And same density, therefore identical mass, therefore identical weight. So, weight of this, weight of this, weight of this is equal. Remember, the weights of the other three are not equal. But, so now some people may come to this conclusion that therefore the answer is 3, but unfortunately 3 is not right. There are others who may come to a conclusion that the answer is 4, which happens to be right. But if you thought that it was because it was rho x, rho naught, rho y and rho z, and because it was dipped in the same amount, that is also not right. Why? Because rho x is dipped in liquid A, rho y is dipped in liquid B. So, they are obviously not the same buoyant force. But then why do I say the answer 4 is correct? Let us see. Because you already saw that three of these forces are equal. Now, here the amount of the object dipped in is clearly more. And well, if it is more, the volume of the liquid is more, but it is the same liquid for both of these. So, clearly buoyant force Fx is more than F1. Let us look at this case. Here, this is dipped in more than that fellow. And since this is dipped in more, the buoyant force on F3 must be more than Fz. So, F3 must be more than Fz. So, these two are clearly not equal. Now, while the weights might be different because we don't know about the density, look at the amount dipped in. They are both dipped in the same amount. It is true that buoyant force must be equal to the weight of the object when it is floating. But it's even more true that buoyant force must be equal to the weight of the liquid or whatever that has been displaced, water or liquid, in this case liquid B that has been displaced. Now, the amount of liquid that has been displaced is equal. Therefore, F2 must be equal to F y because they both have the same amount of liquid displaced. But here the amounts are different, but they are different liquids. Here it is the same liquid. So, if the amounts are equal, the volume displaced is equal, then the weight of the liquid displaced must be equal. So, the buoyant force must be equal. So, F2 is equal to F y. But already we know that F1, F2 and F3 are equal. So, F1 is equal to F2 is equal to F3 is equal to Fy. And this whole thing is greater than Fz. And of course, Fx is greater than all of them. So, how many of the fo buoyant forces are equal? Well, the forces that are equal are F1, F2, Fy and F3. Fx and Fz are not equal. So, therefore, the answer is 4.